Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Saturday, September 24th, 2016. So it is Feedback Saturday, and I have some feedback. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, I uh, First of all, comment on the video version of um, the, the podcast. Uh, on episode 596 found, uh, Laura Church commented, very sad, and yes, it was. That was the one about Sierra, in case uh, you don't remember that particular episode. Uh, I got a comment on episode 594, singing in a choir, from Gary. He says, singing in a choir is something I've enjoyed too. I usually sing one in any church in which we were members. I even joined a community chorus sponsored by KVCC, which is our old alma mater. Both Gary and I went there. Um, I did the community chorus partly because the director was a choir director for my high school. In that group, we did a variety of songs and got to be part of a barbershop quartet. Singing in the quartet was my favorite part of that. Yeah, I've never done, I've done the church choir thing, and I, but I've never done a barbershop. That would be interesting. That would be an interesting uh, experience. And then Gary also commented on episode 596 found. He says, a very sad ending to her story. Hopefully her family can get answers to their questions soon. Yes, hopefully. Um, I don't think that they've had the funeral yet uh, on that. So they're, they're still they're working through that process, unfortunately. Uh, Ramblings, episode 595, Alexander Hamilton. Gary says, it always helps a biography when it includes details about significant events that occurred over a person's life. Although as slow as I read, this one seems like a rather daunting task. Thanks for the review. Yeah, I mean, if you're a slow reader, it might take you a while. It might be the kind of thing where, um, you know, maybe you read a, a few chapters and, and then set it down for a little bit and pick it back up again. Um, but it, it was an interesting read, and it was well-written, so... Uh, I think it'll probably hold your interest. <clears throat> and then uh, episode 593, Affinity Loop, Gary says, this was a fun game for sure. I played more levels than I can remember. I did not realize that it had a dark side as well. I may need to download it again and check it out. Yeah, I just stumbled upon it uh, by accident. Uh, there is this, at the very bottom of the screen, there's this little icon of like three lines. And if you tap on that, it'll go split screen and you see kind of the light side with all the curves and you get the dark side with all the angular stuff and if you click on that then you get those levels uh i have i'm still playing it in odd moments i'm over i'm over 100 levels on the uh light side the loopy side um and then i'm close to, i think i'm like in the 80s or something maybe in the 90s for the other for the dark side so it's, it's fun, you know, if I've got a few minutes to kill. It's something light and easy to work on that's not necessarily super, uh, uh, you know, super brain intensive, you know. A lot of times I get kind of surprised. I'm sitting there going, okay, I got to, because you just got to find ways to connect things. And I'm like, well, that connects, and, you get, and I just keep tapping it. And, and half the time, the, the ultimate solution surprises me, because I think I've always got something that's kind of hung off hung off somewhere and so it's usually not a matter so much of of I'm trying different things and I don't really realize I've tried the right one until it says oh you saw the level you know kind of thing so it is fun in that area and uh and then on episode 601 milk run uh my blog post got reshared by uh Stephen Hawks off of Google Plus which is cool and I got a uh, tweet back from Nathan Lowell thanking me for the kind words so so yeah that was um that was fun. That was fun. Ah, but I, I think I need to get back to my Saturday already in progress. Those of you in the video may notice that something's missing behind me. My Star Wars poster fell again, and this time it cracked the frame. Not really very happy about that. And then I'm trying to balance the washing machine. And uh, that isn't going very well either. Uh, to give you a sense of how that's going, I just sprayed a boatload of WD-40 on a few parts, and I'm waiting to see if a little bit of soak time <laughs> makes things any easier. Otherwise, I'm probably going to have to call a technician in here to rebalance this bad boy. <sighs> but that's really all I got for today. Uh, so I guess you'll get a short one for this Saturday. I will be back on Monday, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.